is AI finally going to take over the world? Well, it seems the internet's newest sensation, ChatGPT, is certainly a step in that direction. ChatGPT is a conversational dialogue model trained by artificial intelligence and machine learning. It understands and responds to natural human language, answers questions, and talks like you were to talk to humans. It gets its name from GPT, or Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It is a deep learning language model that specializes in generating human-like written text. Deep learning is a machine learning method with three or more layers of neural network. This network attempts to simulate the behavior of a human brain, which then allows it to learn as we do. But then a Siri or an Alexa can also talk and respond to you. They can tell a joke, recite a poem. So how is ChatGPT any different? Well, there is a difference. ChatGPT will remember your earlier conversations for context. It will even admit its mistakes, challenge premises, and sometimes even decline to answer. It has been developed by Elon Musk-founded independent research body OpenAI and was co-founded by its current CEO Sam Altman in 2015. So how does ChatGPT work? A user can start by going to OpenAI's website, click on the Try ChatGPT button and start using it. OpenAI has trained ChatGPT using a training method known as Reinforcement Learning from Human Feedback or RLHF. RLHF uses a reward and punishment system to train its AI. So whenever it takes an action, it is classified into two categories, desirable and punishable. The desired action is rewarded, whereas an undesired one is punished. So by this trial and error method, it learns what works and what wouldn't. OpenAI has also used humans as trainers for this training method. It is through conversations that trainers play both the roles of a user and of an AI assistant. But this training method can be a bit problematic. It can often lead to mislead the model. An ideal answer would depend on what the model knows rather than what the human demonstrator knows. And this could be a limitation to this exciting new thing on the internet. So if you ask a complex question or if you don't phrase your question well, the bot can simply decline to answer. It will also decline to answer if it's not an appropriate question. E-commerce company Misho's co-founder Vidit Atre took to LinkedIn to sound off a warning. It was up until a few months ago he said that everyone thought AI could only take repetitive jobs. But with chat GPT, clearly that's not the case. AI can come after your creative jobs as well. But can that really happen though? Is it really the future or just a fad at the moment? Can chat GPT and AI take over human jobs? Well, we're interested in knowing what do you think of it. So do let us know in the comments and stay tuned for more. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.